Welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War as the Union. The entirety of the Confederate force facing me is 31,000 to 46,000. I have an army of roughly 3, 4, 5, 6, 6,000, 7,000 or so men against 30,000. Now keep in mind, in these early battles you get a lot of units from the game. In this case, I'll get about 9,000 men. So, the first, the Battle of Bull Run. The rebels are guarding the Manassas Railroad Junction with strong forces a few miles east of this location. Bull uh, Run River is defended by several CSA brigades and forcing our way through could be risky. It is advised to initiate a faint attack on this bridge with a small amount of regiments. Yeah, I've destroyed entire armies on that bridge, so I won't attack it. Now that I'm the Union. Our main force can pass the river here and attack the left flank of the Confederate army. Which is what the Union actually did. If we act fast, the rebels will have no time to reinforce the area and will be forced off the field. The question is, do I want to act fast? Then we will move east and deal the final blow. We can end the war today, General. Good luck. I'm afraid that's not so simple. General, we are ready to execute our diversionary attack on the stone bridge. Some rival regiments are guarding area. Advance with caution. We need to take this point. In about an hour, our divisions will arrive and launch a full-scale attack on their flank. We'll also get some more reinforcements. Right. So, we get... The first Ohio and the second New York. As well as artillery. All infantry regiments move over there. Artillery move over here. And if the fools are stupid enough to march in the, the gun into my guns, well, they'll pay for it. First U.S., second U.S. Ready. Right. If you want to advance... Then. What do these guys actually have? Six pounders. move closer. Suffice to say, they are not going to force the issue over there. And they... it's an elite unit right there. The 4th South Carolina. I could be willing to sacrifice all of these units, but there is no value in doing that. Let the main assault begin. Here are my divisions, led by uh, Grant himself. We have scouts. Actually, these scouts... Could in the previous one. There's plenty of time. Besides, I don't just want to win, I want to smash Stonewall Jackson.
Right, I need these cuts to cross. Finally, reinforcements. Right, th these are all of my eye brigades. Everything that I could spare. Including the artillery and the supply line. I'll disable this for a moment. I'm not gonna put a high priority on resupplying the artillery, to be honest. I mean, artillery has its points, especially later on. At this stage, it's mainly an infantry affair. So we'll need to take that stone bridge one way or another. All right, I've taken the artillery. Oh. Shit. Hamptons. Fall back, reinforce. Not an issue still though. 
Though we've lost some men over here. It was well worth it, I feel. Yeah, Hamptons just come just come to ruin our day. Right. And this is why fighting the Confederates is a nightmare early on. But when these battles or even just hold them in check, and you will be in a much better position. Finally, some actual troops. Over on this side. Alright, if I can capture those heights while doing quite a bit of damage to the enemy, then that would be the best situation for me personally. The rebels withdraw to Henry Hill. General, we outnumber the enemy and we must keep pushing forward. Henry Hill. The Confederates are establishing their defenses on this, on top of this hill near Henry's farm. General Jackson has been spotted with fresh troops coming in from the south. We need to take Henry Hill. That's gonna be the main issue. We must break this hill's defenses before the rebel, rebel, rebel reinforcements. Await your orders. Okay. The issue for them... 
for the Confederates, that is, is that their main body of troops is quite exhausted. Whereas I have a bunch of fresh troops steamrolling in. But what happened in the actual battle is worth keeping in mind. As in, Jackson arrived and smacked the hell out of the the Union forces because they had overextended themselves. Remove these guys and and it's always worth keeping in mind. Yep, here comes Stonewall Jackson, boys. The most dangerous son of a bitch in this entire war. Forget Grant, or Lee, and all that. It's Jackson. Let's just say the Union was fucking lucky as hell that he was dead by the time that... Oh, shit. That's gonna hurt. All the line, boys. The second Virginia has arrived. Alright, let's take these guys down. I may lose a lot of artillery over there, but that's still worth it. Fuck my life. <laughs> Alright, so I'll send the Ohio Brigade to deal with that while moving the artillery forward. Getting these guys in some damn cover. Virginia has arrived, it seems. Maneuver warfare. Oh. Any more troops on this side? Maybe I can. Yeah, probably. Let's get these guys. Fuck that! These are all. This is all that's left. Although, all that's left is still fucking enough to smack my face in if I'm not careful with them. Could the war have been ended if the Union had won this day? Doubtful. You son of a. Flank, but flank. Jackson's making his stand over there, but once I get the artillery in position, I'll, I'll uh, be the one dealing some serious damage. Right. There's gonna send Grant himself to the front. Need to get my troops ahead. Henry Hill must actually fall.
I may have made a mistake here. Enforcing the entirety of the Confederate force to withdraw past this point. I've clumped them all in. Now I might be able to break through, maybe. But it's gonna be a damn f real fight for this one. And the thing is, my troops themselves are pretty damn exhausted by this point. It's always something that comes down to this. Gonna try these guys, get the artillery closer. Where's the... Okay, we have some artillery here, but where's... Not many casualties that they've done. Alright, Hampton's lead is so much for that notion. More troops. Alright, all. We may be able to capture the hill. Force the Jackson the hell out of here. And then comes the blow. Our men are exhausted from the continuous fight and more rebels are coming. We should stop our events and hold our ground. No, really. Here comes the main push, boys. Yeah, here it comes. What I had hoped to avoid.
I don't know if the Union actually took Henry Hill. I do know that this is what happened to them, though. They overextended themselves. Their troops were able to push back the Confederates. But then they got torn to shreds by the counterattack. The thing is, for the Confederates in this scenario, is that I've dealt so much, so many casualties to them. Maybe Legendary really is designed for you if you play the Union. I mean, it's a nightmare enough as it is to play the Confederates in the late game. Early game, not so much. Why? Because this position right here is damn near impregnable, so is the bridge.
All right, we've broken through over there. Need to take this supply. Right, we captured quite a few men, actually. This was, though, like, despite the formidable, despite how formidable individual Confederate units are, they are vastly outnumbered. So in this case, overall, they actually were the ones that had more numbers than me. I only lost 3,000 men, they lost over 10,000. I mean, talk about, maybe that would have actually won the war, if you were talking about such a victory. Alright, we lost two colonels. Uh, got a bunch of people promoted, captured a whole bunch of Springfields, uh, farmers, supplies, yeah, plenty of supplies. 